Now, how y'all doing? Did y'all hear about Mr. Diddy Bop? Yeah, let's get into it. Was Diddy indicted? We'll see. This video may contain copyrighted material used for educational, transformative, or commentary purposes, constituting fair use under Section 107 of the U.S. Copyright Law. And it's also my. Was Diddy indicted? We'll see. Okay, what's this article say? Diddy faces possible indictment as grand jury is set to hear accusers by a father, Bombadil. Wednesday, May 29th at 9.15 a.m. EDT, I think that would mean Easter. The U.S. Justice Department may be moving to indict Diddy for his alleged crimes as sources claim witnesses could appear in court. According to new reports, federal investigators are preparing to bring the music producers' accusers before a federal grand jury. Mm. If this is true, it marks a significant escalation in the government's ongoing investigation into Diddy's gruesome allegations. Witnesses from multiple lawsuits may influence Diddy's indictment. Mm -hmm. Diddy has been named in eight civil lawsuits since November 2023, with seven directly accusing him of sexual assault. Well, maybe I shouldn't say of SA. One of those comp complaints accused his son, Christian Combs, of SA as well, while the Bad Boy Records founder was named for aiding and abetting. Mm -mm -mm. Only one of the eight lawsuits filed by Diddy's former girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, has been settled. Meanwhile, investigators have notified the remaining accusers that they could be brought in to testify in front of a federal grand jury in New York City, according to a source. Child clutching my pearls. Bringing individuals who have filed lawsuits against Diddy before a grand jury signify the situation has moved beyond the preliminary stage where investigators typically assesses if possible law violations have been committed. However, a spoke, spokesperson for the Homeland Security Investigations Agency, HSI, declined to comment on the existence of a grand jury to CNN. Instead, they stressed that their investigations were ongoing. Hmm. What y'all think? What do y'all think? Oh, my goodness. Sources claim investigators are trying to obtain a pow pow proof indictment or bulletproof. I'm going to say it. According to sources, the potential witnesses in Diddy's cases have yet to be prepped for testimony. And one insider noted that HSI investigators are still gathering evidence. The investigators are also questioning potential sources for information in their federal probe into the embattled rapper. As for why investigators are being thorough and taking their time, one source claimed it is to ensure that an indictment, should there be one, is bulletproof. Wow, they're trying to get you, Diddy. Back in March, law enforcement informants claimed the HSI was investigating Diddy for several crimes. Although he slammed, although he was slammed with SA lawsuits, Sources reported the scope of the invest investigation focused on, you know what, trafficking, money laundering. I'm trying to pull this down. Money laundering and illegal um, them things that you do. In response to those alleged crimes, Diddy's L.A. home was raided in March, where, two, where video evidence was reportedly found. Hmm. That's why I think that leaked hotel uh, video came from. Diddy probably was watching it in his pleasure, allegedly. <laughs> Will Diddy's ex-girlfriend be a witness in his federal probe? 
Ugh. Diddy's legal woes began when his ex-girlfriend Cassie opened up about the abuse she suffered as, at his hands. Given that she was the first to make these allegations and win, many wondered if she played a crucial part in the federal probe. Last month, The Blast reported that Cassie had been communicating with federal authorities and offered her cooperation in the ongoing investigation into Diddy. While the specifics of her statements to the authorities remain undisclosed, it might be safe to assume that they align with the allegations outlined in her lawsuit against her ex-boyfriend. Child, all I'm doing is clutching my pearls, y'all. Inside Cassie's bombshell allegations against Diddy. I don't like that picture of Cassie. That's too much makeup. In her scathing lawsuit, Cassie accused Diddy of multiple crimes ranging from the R word, SA, and S trafficking to repeated physical abuse. She claimed her ex exerted complete dominance over her life, rugging her, beating, and coercing her into SA acts with multiple male ex workers. Cassie claimed these atrocious acts were caught on camera and continued for years before she mustered the courage to fight against Diddy. In her lawsuit, the singer boldly declared, After years in silence and darkness, I'm finally ready to tell my story and to speak on speak up on behalf of myself and for the benefit of other women who face violence and abuse in their relationships. Okay, Cass. Gut-wrenching video of Diddy's abuse sparks business setbacks. Mm -hmm. After you lied on her all that time, did he? Evidence of Cassie's allegations recently made waves in the form of a gut-wrenching video that showed Diddy mercilessly hitting her. I don't know why I kept getting tongue-tied. The Blast reported that this terrifying clip seemingly sparked major business setbacks for the entertainment entertainer. America's best contacts and eyeglasses company severed its tie its ties with Diddy by removing its Sean John frames from several store shelves. <laughs> uh -huh. These outlets reportedly received notifications to pause the accessory sale until further notice. The retail company wasn't the only one abandoning Diddy as a fitness company, Peloton, temporarily banned the rapper's music and Bad Boy Entertainment series from his program. They announced their decision in a statement saying, We take this issue very seriously and can confirm Peloton has paused the use of Sean Combs music, as well as removed the Bad Boy Entertainment artist series from our platform. Now, okay, Peloton, you can remove Puffy. But you don't need to be removing, like, Biggie and all of them. Like, you're going too far now, okay? Witnesses. Okay, this is the LA Times. That's the same thing. Okay, so, basically, that was the end. Let's see what the comments say, y'all. It says, view nine comments. Let's see what the comments say. Am I going to be able to see them? Are they just are they loading slow? Come on, man. Don't play with me. Why where they go? Where they at? Where they at? Alright, I'm not gonna keep on messing with this, but tell me what y'all think in the comments. Y'all know I want y'all to go off. Go off. Go off. Go off. Go off. Tell me what y'all think. Don't forget to hit the like button. Hit the bell notification if you want to be notified when the next video is coming out. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe and be a part of the gang gang. Oh, wait a minute. They just loaded. Okay. It says, he's only one of many, so come get yet to watch and see. Another comment. Why do some celebrities think they can get away with things that eventually will come to light? Put him in jail with all the other women beaters. <laughs> um, I clicked that, but as long as it took for the other stuff to load, I don't think I'm going to wait. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for um, watching my video. Stay until the end. It says G-Unit. <laughs> Put him in jail with the other women beaters. Well.
that means that um your boy he gonna be coming next you know the boy with all that mouth the one that keep on saying stuff well back in the early 90s when you know living in new jersey and stuff which is right next door to new york and we get all our channels our radio all that stuff from new york from um manhattan the same as every the five boroughs in new york that's all we ever heard about was uh diddy and 50 52 so i don't know why he always talking somebody gonna come out on him too mark my words oh here go the other i'm surprised he hasn't found a way to leave the usa the scale of balance isn't equal to begin with plus all these accusations coming daily it's just a matter of how many years he's getting mm. somebody named carl says what is love what is this longing in our hearts for togetherness is not the sweetest flower does not this flower of love a fragrant aroma of fine diamonds does not i'm okay no i'm not reading that that's a poem okay then g unit came back how many men and women did he be in sa prison is looking like his next mansion somebody else on this day just keeps getting better <laughs> then somebody said run for us run last comment did he done explanation mark r kelly is waiting for you dude enjoy <laughs> that came from a miss suzanne all right guys oh look at diddy this is this is probably when i used to like diddy mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. and you know what now he kind of look like a werewolf when i look at diddy that's basically what i see werewolf the werewolf from harlem Mm -mm -mm. The Werewolf from Harlem. That is this video. On, um, mute that. The video that's on the article, it doesn't have any, um, it just has music. And it's just basically with the same stuff from the bottom. But thank y'all so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Peace. I'd like to kiss you, but I just washed my hair. Bye.